that and that. Um, it's probably in the doorway for the, it's your first. What, have you ever seen me wear a silk scarf? It's your first. Have you ever seen me wear a scarf? This will be your first. Because by the time we get to here, this will be dead when the phone rings. It's Mark. Yeah. I did. I had to get your attention, Mark. You can't be there for when he hands off the... You have to be here so that he can cross through over his shoulder, which he doesn't see, and then inside him so that we have that when he turns around. Yikes. And she goes... Boom. And she okay. flicks that light switch when she comes in and just motivate this one chandelier here so that there's a direction to it just in the corner. Nope. Fantastic. He can turn that on and you can put something down low over here, but I, it, it has to be... I mean, there, it should be light in the hallway. Right. And then when she comes forward, she should be kind of in shadow. I mean, she'd be pretty... So you go, she's come to murder him. She's holding the rabbit. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You're not going to let you ignore me. Would I put the phone there if the fire is there? Well, the fire... Yeah, I, I just feel like you just... I think it'll be funnier here because yeah, sure. I love the idea of cutting to this phone and you hear him yeah, and his and flames are burning. Right, nice. Okay. Cool. Headbutt. Cool. Let's go. Ribbon up the back the yeah, same the way? Yeah, same exact way that you did it. Go ahead and put some on the rim too. Okay, now it's got to burn for a while. Oh, there's a, oh, yeah, uh, 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 and then she goes, now I'm going to kick it over. Okay. Can she kick it on the top of that? Kick it or push, push, push this here. That's it, just like that. Do you want to try one? Yeah. we got a setup with her just to make sure she's comfortable. Sure. Well, let's let her get her hair in a ponytail first. Because right now she's incredibly flammable. Right. <laughs> okay. And you've done a fire walk, right? Just don't breathe in. Until okay. the guys come up with you, just do not breathe in. <laughs> just don't move. So I can't stop dropping a roll? Yeah. <laughs> we did a whole um, technical run through and David did it so much better than me. He did it so calmly and I was like, David. And we were joking that they were just going to slather me up in like grease paint and just light me on fire, just have me roll on the bed. And you look at him and then you drop it. And then you step away from it. There you go. So that's all you want to do is, it's that first one is going to be the biggest, but, and it. it probably won't be that big because it'll be dry. Got it. Roll. Roll. Speed. Concentrate. And action. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ. When did you get back? You scared me. I need you to knock first. When did you get back? I got back this afternoon. Did you know I sent 47 texts? I did. And I thought that was incredibly normal behavior. That scene was really fun because I feel like every girl has that in her. That kind of like crazy insecurity when your boyfriend is traveling a lot. And I kind of went through my own experience when me and my significant other weren't in a great place. And you know, you're wondering what they're doing. You know, why are they saying this? Why they aren't doing that? So it was fun. Uh, that wasn't all acting. That was some uh, deep method in there. Do you realize that you jeopardized the entire company? Do you realize that your actions could have easily destroyed everything I've been working on? We've been working on it. Without money, the company can't function. Let me tell you the difference between Facebook and everybody else. We don't crash ever. If the servers are down for even a day, our reputation is damaged irreversibly. Users are fickle. Friendster has proven that fact. Look, uh... Even a small exodus, even a few people leaving would reverberate through the whole user base. The users are interconnected. That is the whole point. College kids are online because their friends are online. And if one domino goes... Holy shit! All the dominoes go. Don't you get that? I am not going back to the Caribbean night at AEP. I, I, I got a fire in my apartment! Did you like being nobody? Did you like being a joke? Do you want to go back to that? Hang on, hang on, hang on! Cut it. Very nice. Cut. Picture's up. Bravo 12 Alpha. Roll it, roll. Baker, 12 apple, take one. Are you okay? We're ranking girls. You're talking about other students. Yeah. 
people's heads will explode. I need the algorithm. Mark. I need the algorithm. Mm. Okay. Cut. Very nice. Cut, cut. Okay, just don't nod. Just, I need the algorithm. I need the algorithm. I know you're trying to save me for myself, which is what I hate. Uh, <laughs> don't try to save me for myself. Here we go. But a lot of times, the takes that David says he likes are the ones where I feel like I didn't do anything on. And it's, it's, it's frustrating because you're trained to do otherwise. You know, you're trained to kind of like, I mean, not only train, but you feel sated as an actor when you feel like you've done something and when you've had some kind of emotional experience, you know, and if possible, some kind of cathartic experience even, which is rare. But uh, the takes that uh, the director seemed most happy with, I kind of felt like uh, a little, I didn't feel, have that feeling. I didn't have that kind of, uh, you know, that little like uh, orgasm, so to speak, you get as an actor when you feel like, you know, you connected in some way. And I didn't have that, all, and he would like that. And then when I'd have that, he'd say, you know, oh, less with the eyebrows or something. So I, uh, you know, it was kind of an often frustrating experience and, uh, you know, often contrary to kind of what you plan to do as an actor in general. Hey, David, is it too much? I don't want to make a joke of it, but I think it's very funny. On the, if we move in, um, so you fashion, have more doorway. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, if we can make room for Mr. Yeah, yeah, we're here. We'll be fast, fast, fast. I mean, this is a real joke. Yeah. 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 Which yeah. 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 Don't play it. Yeah. No, I mean, there's no way to play it. Yeah. 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 Take 23. Time to monetize the thing. Oof. What were their names? You hear what I just said? What? I said it's time to monetize the site. What does that mean? <laughs> it means it's time for the website to start generating revenue. No, I know what the word means. I'm asking how do you want to do it? Uh, advertising. No. Just know that the word advertising is going to be like saying what to him. Oh, okay. Yeah, pornography. It's going to be okay. Like, no. Okay, sure. We got 4,000 members. Well, look, hey, we do have 4,000 members. Like, that's something. We, we can parlay that into something. Yeah. It's like, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that because it's not cool. We're going to be cool, and that's what it's about. Cool is priority. Because the Facebook is cool. If we start installing pop-ups for Mountain Dew, mm -mm. it's not going to be cool. Hey, I wasn't thinking Mountain Dew. Yeah, not, not Mountain Dew. <laughs> no, we don't want to do Mountain Dew. That's cool. Okay. okay, you know what? It is cool right now because there is no yeah. I understand. I don't want to put ads on there. But at, some but at some point, point. but at some point, and I'm, I'm talking as the business end of the company, the site, we don't even know what it is yet. We have 4,000 members. That's not nothing. That's something. Yeah, uh, no, we should exploit this. Yeah. It's like that's it's the great. way it's that's great. what grown ups do. Yes. You, you have a thing, 4,000 yeah. people flock to it. Yes. I mean, who knows? There might be 8,000 <laughs> by the, the time we're done. So it's so. Okay. Look, you, yes, you know you're going to be with resistance. No, oh, oh, no, I don't think I do. I think you do. I think you know that he's going to be. We haven't had this conversation yet. I know, but you're. But he's. He's an artist. You can't be trying to pull this out. I'm the business head of the thing, so I'm. Yeah, just and even if he does have resistance, I'm, it's my money, so I'm going to do what we're doing. But you can't do it without him. So, no, so you, have to, you have to get him to say. You, all you want. Look, at the end of this, we just want you to start thinking about how we're going to monetize this thing. We're making eye contact until he goes, until the water goes. It's this, and then he's suddenly, oh, well, yeah. now he's not, now they're, now it's oblique, and they're, these are glancing blows. Mark, what is this? What? This. It's called a cease and desist letter. What were their names? Who? The girls. When did you get this? About ten days ago, right after I launched the site. Why didn't you show this to me? It was addressed to me. They're saying that we stole the Facebook from Divya Narendra and the Winklevoss. I know what it says. Did we? Did we what? Don't screw around with me now. Look at me. The letter says we could face legal action. No, it says I could face legal action. I think there's a very important thing going on here, which is we and I. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you tell me about this? Because it was to me. Mm -hmm. What, did we steal anything from them? And it's like, who's there we? is definitely a we who talks about, yeah. Yeah, who's we? You got a rat in your pocket? No. Uh, we didn't. 
Right. Listen to me. It's the yes. we thing. Is the I absolutely does the we thing. I'm pretty sure. First of all, I love you, Wardo. Um, uh, but a million years could not do what I do. Um, uh, uh, secondly, while I was, uh, you know, up for 36, 48 hours straight on Red Bull. Uh, doing this thing and sleeping three hours, getting up again. You were doing pain rates uh, uh, at the <laughs> Phoenix and having drinking games. We. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't think they're interested in you, Warren. But, I think they're but, interested in suing me. But that, but that, but the panty rates thing is the thing that you can't access because that's that's where he's crippled. That's what makes it burn and melt down and why it drops out of the soles of his feet. And you know what I mean? It's uh -huh. the thing that, it's the deep core problem. So this thing encompasses three of the things that make him most uncomfortable. One, close proximity. Yeah. Two, competition. An, uh, uh, just being, getting pushback at all yeah, on, yeah. on, on Something the, what he's done is wrong in yeah, some yeah. way. So make me believe in this last thing yes. that Everything is, no, I didn't steal anything. Do they have grounds? The grounds are our thing is cool and popular and Harvard connection is lame. Wardo, I promise I didn't use any of their code. I didn't use anything. A guy who builds a, a really nice chair doesn't suddenly owe money to everyone else who's ever built a chair. They came to me with an idea. I had a better one. Why didn't you show me the letter? I didn't think it was a big deal. Then he comes over and proximity and the honesty with which he's saying, I'm your, we're fixed at yeah, the yeah. hip. If there's ever anything wrong, you can tell me. I'm the guy that wants to help. This is our thing. That makes you uncomfortable. And then he asks you the thing of, now, I need to check yeah. just to make sure yeah. you're not leaving anything out. Yeah. Take that and go, no. Okay. I'm not <laughs> Yeah. No. I told you before. Yeah. I'm telling you now. Now. Is there anything that you need to tell me? No. Roll, please. Ready. Wait, wait, and wait sorry. Speed. And action. He's expanding. What? He's expanding to Yale, Columbia, and Stanford. will be in the Crimson tomorrow. Really? Yeah. Looks like that cease and desist letter really scared the shit out of him, huh? I want to hire a lawyer to file for injunctive relief and get the site taken down now. On the set, you know, you're walking around the room, and the camera doesn't see what I'm looking at, but, you know, I see a comb or a ring or, you know, the dresser or the books, you know? I mean, these guys were so detailed. It's like our courses are there. My, my course schedule was on my desk wall. The camera never even got near that, you know? But it's like I get to see that, and then and it's just another thing that brings you back into that world, into that moment. Take five. Hey. Ready? Yeah! And left a message with his RA. I left two, now I'm leaving one here. Looking at the article in the Narendra? Today's. N A. Just tell him Divya called. That's he knows who I am. Register for new Asshole Facebook website. And the subheading is Face Smash Creator Seeks New Reputation with Latest Online Project. Cut. Very nice. Cut, cut. A little more urgency, and they get this mother on the phone. No. If you get him, it's going to stop we'll everything. Do it on okay. Is this you, Zuckerberg? Where the f*** are you? Okay. Tell me where you are right now. Okay. Because I got two people who want to talk to you. Okay. Okay. No, I want to hire the Sopranos to beat the shit out of him with a crescent wrench. We don't even have to do that. Thank you. We can do it ourselves. I'm 6'5", 220, and there's two of me. Um, and the hand that points on the 6'5", is the left hand, right? Yeah. And there's, yeah. Um, you did it with the right. <coughs> I'm six five. Got to lean. Oh no no no. Got to lean I back. I think you did with the right hand. Sooner. Yes, okay. you have to. Yeah. Lean back sooner. You have to lean back Very sooner on uh, while we're waiting for my dad's lawyer, which okay. you remembered late. I did remember that late. That. Now what? Where do I say? Now, uh, um, uh, that's exactly what he said. That's exactly what we said to him. He's giving. He's giving you the finger in the crimson. Make sure you're pointing with the right hand, right? And then you sit back right after that. Then when you, before you stand up, I just need you to give me a little, it's, instead of this, uh, you're so fresh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I have that. 
he's giving us the finger in the crimson. Cam, while Dad's lawyer's looking all this stuff over, we can at least get something going in the paper so that people know that this is in dispute. Uh, we're not starting a knife fight in the Crimson, and we're not going to sue anybody. Uh, why not? Yeah, that hair dryer works really well in the shower. Cut it. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. I mean, no one likes being in a deposition room, period. But then you're in it all day, every day, for weeks doing the same scenes over and over. So it was like being in a sensory deprivation chamber that was uh, just made to torture you. There's points where you're like about to go insane because you're seeing the same room over and over again for like 10 days or whatever it was. It seemed like 10 days. It definitely was challenging. Uh... I mean, I, but I think that probably those depositions are a little bit like that. I mean, this is a really heightened version of that because it's been weeks as opposed to hours. But like, I think that people get really tired and the testimony is really emotional and it's definitely exhausting to watch, but it's also exciting. The best part about that was just being in the room with everybody, you know, because we didn't get to work a lot with Andrew, who's a brilliant actor, Andrew Garfield and Rashida Jones and a, and a number of other people. And so for us to all get to come together now at this point, it was fun, you know, it was just kind of like a little party. And Mark was, you know, the biggest thing on a campus. It included 19 Nobel laureates, 15 Pulitzer Prize winners, two future Olympians, and a movie star. Oh, who was the movie star? You f***ing kidding me? No. <sighs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the shooting process itself feels like an extensive rehearsal process because it's really involved and they really let you do it a bunch of times until it feels like part of your skin. Within one take without cutting, we would do it 30 times, like a, like a monologue. And I thought I'm not doing well if we have to do it so many times and that kind of put me on edge a little bit. I'm in the middle of two different lawsuits. Did you answer affirmatively? When Tyler and Cameron Winklevoss and Divya Narendra ask you to build Harbor Connection, did you say yes? I said I'd help. Good. Once again, and Jesse, I'm currently, try currently in the middle. Just clarify with him. Okay. Here we go. One second. And don't actually eat your skin. You can actually, you can chew it, but just don't eat it. Here we go. Okay. And action. Cameron, Cameron Winklevoss, W-I-N. <laughs> Cameron Winklevoss, W-I-N-K-L-E-V-O-S-S. Cameron spelled the usual way. You know, it's arduous and it's exhausting, but I think that there's sort of a brilliant design behind it in a way. It forces you out of your head. You almost don't have time to think. You know, between takes, he'll give you a note and it's just like you gotta go right back into it. And eventually you've done it so many times that it's like by take 45, you're so tired that you're not even thinking about it, and that's where you should be. But it's nice, you know, because you're, you're with a director who likes to do that many takes, and he's very much a, a perfectionist. So if he doesn't think it's right, he's going to keep going until he gets what he wants, which is, as an actor, the most comforting thing you can hear. You know, I feel very protected in this. There, there's two things that I think are really advantageous to doing a lot of takes. One is it takes the pressure off of the individual take. You know, because I never felt like the pressure was on me to get it right, right away, because there was an understanding on the part of the hundred people working on the movie, which is, you know, which sometimes is a lot of pressure that a hundred people are spending their time so that you can kind of get it right. Uh, the pressure never was on me because everybody knew that we'd be doing a lot of takes, so I never felt personally responsible for the time that was being used. And then the main thing is you could try different things and you didn't worry that they'd only have those two options and they'd have to choose one and they both kind of weren't hitting the mark. I really like it. I mean, I have a lot of insecurity about performing, so the more times you get to do it, the more times you get a chance to do it right. I still, after 100 takes or something, I still don't feel like I got it how I wanted it to be, but I don't think maybe I'll ever feel that way. Maybe that's okay, and I have to deal that with, with Dr. Goldsmith, my therapist. But you want to feel like you had the greatest opportunity to do it right. It's um, bliss for an actor to have that feeling that you're able to 
Um, you need that in order to find whatever it is that you're looking for that you don't you that you have no idea of you know that that that, that unknown thing that you can't ever um, consciously create. Did he offer terms? Yes, he said we'd split the company 70 30, 70 for him, 30 for me. And he named me CFO. And you said? I said, let's do it. Great, once again, Jesse, slide an inch to your right. There. And action. It's also a part of the process of doing digital filmmaking where you can just be in there doing take after take after take and you're never really away from each other. It's different from the old way of movie making of coming in and doing a, a couple of takes and then walking away for a while and, and uh, while well, they adjust everything and reload and, and whatever. It's like rehearsing a, a play to some degree, so just going over and over and over a scene, talking briefly about it, banging back into it with uh, no worry about people having to reset things. You know, we, we still have our breaks, you know, say set up a, a different version of the shot, you know, a different angle or something, but, but it, is, uh, it is a lot more work. You're not an asshole, Mark. You're just trying so hard to be. Let me go with that. Does it feel right that I get up there and not? I mean, I feel like I could either get up on. Um, Wait, fine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, or right after that, like that's the side and the other is beside you. The guys beside you, Mario. Or I can wait. Well, so, so, show me what that is. Um, pay the fine. Uh, pay the fine. In the scheme of things, it's a speeding ticket. That's what Sai and the guys are telling me. Okay, cross on. No, not at all. There's a night guy downstairs, and then stop at the doorway. Or, okay. You're not an asshole, Mark. You're not an asshole, Mark. I like my character because she's kind of like this Greek chorus, this conscience of the movie, where she just like sits back and witnesses this. Thing going down and then offers her slight opinion and not in a pushy way and I like that in my own life the idea of like just sitting and listening and I like it as an actor because I got to sit and listen to this entire deposition process and then make a really informed educated assessment of what just happened it's a good lesson <laughs> I appreciate your help today you're not an asshole Mark you're just trying so hard to be. There's so many different ways for the scene to play out, and there's so many different flavors of Mark Zuckerberg that people can be left with at the end of this movie, or the character Mark Zuckerberg. And um, you know, I think we've just David and Aaron have really just been experimenting with what those could be. But I think they, at the very end, want to present a very balanced picture of this person and what this person went through. And cut it. Just, yeah, tilt your head a little bit more to the left. There. It's, it's not coming from a need. It's not even coming from a desire. It's coming from this reflex of I have to go back to the beginning. Just see. So it's just, like, it's not a smile. So it's not, it's just, I just relax. And so I, I want everybody to put everything on it. So whatever you can do to take out everything. Okay. Okay, here we go. It's nicely bookended, and um, it's sad that in the end he has, you know, no friends, all of this money, and he's created the biggest social network out there, and yet he's completely socially inept. Zuckerberg almost is, in a way, um, kind of a personification of Facebook. I mean, it's, I feel weird talking about him because I don't know him, but, I mean, for me, the character kind of, like, uh, like thinks of Eduardo, we should be friends because we're, I need you for this thing, and you need me for this thing, and you like this band, and I like this band, in kind of this very um, pragmatic way. And that's kind of, from the little I know about Facebook, kind of what Facebook has, too. You know, people are linked through, you know, through common circumstance or common interest rather than you know, the kind of more nuanced relationships you have with somebody in person. And the interesting thing is that I think it's precisely that, you know, potentially narrow focus socially that allowed him to create something that so many people find so accessible. Jesse, you're done. Bravo. They wrote Zuckerberg said he hoped the privacy options would help restore his reputation following student outrage over facesmash.com. 
Now, while we're waiting for Dad's lawyer to look this over, we can at least get something going in the paper so people know that this is in dispute. Got it. Moving on. That's it for Army. That's it for Josh. That's yeah. it for Max. Finish it up. On the last day of shooting the movie, we had three shots to get. And in the middle of the second shot, David took me aside and said, let me just tell you what's going to happen now. We're going to finish up getting the second of three shots that we need to get. Then I'm getting in my car and I'm going home and you're directing the rest of the movie. And, and I thought he was joking and I was kind of going along with the joke. And he kept saying, no, I'm serious. And I kept laughing about it until the first AD, uh, Bob Wagner came up to me and said, don't worry, we're here for whatever you need. And uh, our great DP, Jeff Cronwith, asked me to come and line up a shot. And second ADs are having me choose background and select wardrobe and all this stuff. And uh, David meant it. And he did, by the way, get in his car and leave. He wanted to make it clear that this wasn't the pilot asking the little boy to come up to the cabin and look, you're really flying the planet. So, kiddo, you got no net. I I'm out of here. Now, that shot, I believe, is less than one second long. If it's more than one second, then it's 1.2 seconds. I did two takes and went, OK, um, uh, we've got it. Bob Wagner, the first AD, said, David will kill me uh, if I only give him two takes. You have to do more. So I said, OK, we're just going to do a few more exactly the way we just did those first two, OK? <laughs> so we did a few more. And that was it. I also got to say, that's a wrap. And, uh, and we wrapped the movie out. All right, cut it. Cut, cut. Good. Okay. Anything else? Is that it? Good. Social network wrapped. You good? Ladies and gentlemen, all right, that is a wrap. Thank you all for your very hard work. A lot of people say it's like, oh my God, it's so great, and we had such a great time. We're all going to stay in touch. But I seriously think we're all going to stay in touch. Even though I wasn't here um, that much, it really took a lot. It was, it was such an amazing experience, and I really, I learned so much as an actor. I think grew as a person, as an actor, you know, it's a, it's a dream. It was fun to just be around and watch it all happen. This is so boring, isn't it? I should have more dirt and say that there's lots of fights happening. And... These are my only Facebook friends, because I'm not on Facebook. My girlfriend's mother, you know, would always say things like, if you have time for that Facebook, you have time to tutor a child. Um, and so no one should be on Facebook unless they're tutoring the child. And if they're tutoring a child and on Facebook, then they should tutor another child. I'm very proud of the movie. I can't imagine being more proud when I write something. I'm sure David's the same way when he directs something. I'm sure our cast is the same way. I don't try to take everybody's temperatures and I should ask for a show of hands and, and, and give people what they want. Um, I don't know what people want. People don't want the same things. This is all a long way of saying that all I can do is write something that I like, write something that I think my friends would like, write something that I think my father would like, and keep my fingers crossed that enough other people like it that I can keep earning a living. I was recently at the AFI a tribute to Mike Nichols. And on those kind of occasions, they show kind of extended clips of, uh, of the awardee's career. And so you're sitting watching the screen scenes from Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, and Graduate, Catch-22, Carnal Knowledge. And I remember sitting there thinking, why aren't we making movies like this? And then I saw Social Network, and I realized that every now and then we are. <laughs>